welcome to Flory Models and a happy new year to each and every single one of you. Here we are on the 1st of January 2017 and where the hell did 2016 go? It absolutely flew by incredibly quick. Thank you to everybody who's joined us along the way. To put into perspective how busy we were last year, we actually uploaded 500, including this video, 42 videos from January the 1st 2016 until today. That time of year, that's 1.5 a day. And as a lot of you know, obviously we don't work bank holidays and we don't do weekends either really, apart from the live shows and they don't count. Another way of looking at it, that's been viewed 21,520,300 minutes worth have watched me and the guys and everything else here at Flory Models, which means that's 41 and a half years of sitting there watching us, incredible figures. Uh, we've had over two million views, uh, and to put that into perspective, we are 88% up on 2015, if you like. So what an incredible year. To give you some little stats of it, we did 24 video builds to run down through them. We did uh, the Y-Wing, the Terminator, the MiG-21, the 787-800 series, the Halifax, the Osprey, the DL-44, the Dolphin, the Chieftain Mark 10, the Su-27, the Mitsubishi F-1, the Gundam, uh, we've done the Meteor, which will be finished, honestly, uh, Slave 1, we got down here in front of us, we also did the Bell X-1, the Star Destroyer, the U-Wing, the Death Trooper, the ATAT, K-2, um, SO and also another one to add to that makes it 21. I've just finished this guy as well, which is the Tiderium Shuffle. Absolutely fantastic. So that is a really busy year in total. We also did 89 reviews as well, which I know a lot of you love our reviews that we do and everything else. We actually kicked out 89 last year, which is a massive record on what we used to do when it used to be like one a week. So I think we used to do like around about 50 to 52 uh, on the year before that. So again, right up there. Next year, I'm going to bring you even more reviews. Okay, so we're going to be doing a lot more on tests. We're going to be doing a lot more verses uh, and things like that so definitely something to look out for but first of all I'd just like to thank everybody on the team as well so I have to say a big thank you to Steve and to Hans for all their hard work I know a lot of you don't realize it but there's a hell of a lot of work that they do in the forum as a lot of you know uh, maybe changing it a little bit next year but I spend very little time in the forum because obviously I'm doing this part of it which takes up 99% of all my time okay next year things are going to be slightly different we're going to explain all about this I'm going to do a private members chat to you guys next week about what's going to happen with us. Um, there's some big changes coming. There's some you're going to love, perhaps some you're not going to like as much, but definitely it's going to be something which I feel is better for me personally, for the guys, uh, and for you as well. So definitely something exciting happening uh, next week. But I'd say there'll be a completely different show for that one, uh, which will be just for the members to start with anyway. But I must thank uh, Hans and Steve because as I say, they do do a lot. We know we always have trouble with the group builds and the six. You know, there is that sort of grey area between what I imagine like the German one would be, would be anything German. And then obviously we get the guy say, but part of it's built in Germany and, and no, it's not. And it's an import. You get those grey areas and it is down to Hans and Steve. I tend to keep my head down who do look after all those things. So I couldn't do this without them, definitely. But also I couldn't do it without you guys. Don't forget, you guys, the subscribers out there, are paying for me to invest heavily into what we do here at Flory Models. If you'd seen us how we were 10 years ago to compare to what we are now, it is day and night, <clears throat> you know, definitely. And I'd say next year we've got really exciting things happening because well, obviously we've got the new 360 camera coming in, which means it'll be streaming live as well. So you'll be able to have a look around the studio and then focus in exactly where you want to, especially if you've got VR, things like that. We've got that coming online next year. A lot of you know we've moved over to 4K for a lot of this stuff. The entire system will go 4K as well, so it'll make it a lot clearer, sharper, cleaner images for you guys to watch, especially on big screens, things like that. So there's lots of different things coming along. I've got a new strategy, as it's again, we're going to speak about this next week uh, and everything else like that. And we have got a couple of new team members coming on the site as well, which you guys don't know. Well, some of you might know them, uh, but we've got two of those popping in as well, which is going to be helping me out on a slightly different side of the project to Flory Models. But again, something we're really excited about for next year. So definitely something to look forward to. Thank you so much for everybody who takes part in all the group builds. They are a massive part of what we do. As I said, it has gone up and up every year and the group builds that we've had this year have been absolutely exceptional the level of the work but also not just that it's you guys are what make a group build the whole point of a group build isn't just so you build a model it's so you discuss it you share ideas um, you know the way that you actually do things the way you approach problems uh, and helping each other out with things like decals broken parts and stuff like that that is what we are all about here at Flory Models and the group builds have literally gone from you know basically around about 100 people taking part in them to, to 
two and a half, you know, sort of, you know, 250 people now taking part in them and all the rest of it, which does make a massive difference because obviously the quality of the work goes up, you guys are sharing everything and that is that greater feel of community and that's what we try and do here at Flory Models. Again, with the six brilliant ideas, we have new, in, you know, guys are thinking really out of the box for different things for SIGs and stuff like that, different ways for approaching things, different methods of building as well. We're seeing more than just plastic models these days. We're seeing a lot of scratch building, a lot of resin, a lot of paper craft, you name it, anything to do with a hobby, it's now found its way to the forum, which is absolutely fantastic. Because again, you go back 10 years, I think I worked it out that 98% of everything that was on the forum was in plain. Now it is not just plain, it's not just armour, there's no light side and dark side, we've got the rainbow in there. So we've got the guys doing all the figure painting guys, we've got the maritime guys, we've got the sci-fi guys, we've got the scratch building guys, uh, and everything else like that. So it's absolutely fantastic the way that we've gone from just being a stand type of modelling thing to sort of embracing the entire hobby as a whole. So if it's any type of modelling, it's more than welcome here at Flory Models. And it's great to see it because it inspires other people to perhaps try something new, perhaps Perhaps, you know, we all face it, you get your mojo, it's a little bit waning, you're not, you know, perhaps you're thinking about the hobby, isn't for you, and then something else comes along, like the Bandai stuff, which I know I harp on along about but they are great. I know a lot of you have built them over Christmas because you've been sending me pictures and that, and you're saying how it feels so wrong but so right at the same time, the way that these go together with no glue, you can sit down in front of the TV, but it is that inspiring thing because then you can just think, Okay, and like we did with these Revel kids toys, these are the kids ones, you know, the Atat, the Star Destroyer, we've got the U-Wing and the Shuttle here are kids toys that we've actually now taken apart, painted, weathered, and we've used all our skills to put right. Even going through on this guy, I've done a lot of filler work on this one, and also we've gone through with a few little things using plating to hide seam lines, stuff like that. All stuff that we learn through modeling, we can now diversify into other things. And these are the type of things you can do with Bandai. Great jump off points, and then you can go completely to town with it, and then adding more detail to it, scratch building onto it, and just taking it up to that next level. And I think that's really what is important to the hobby and everything else like that. So that's it from me today. I'm going to be with you tomorrow with the shuttle will be up on the site tomorrow. It's going to be a one part. Just going to put that up because obviously next year we are pushing on heavily with everything new that's coming out. And I'm going to be back with you on the 3rd of January with the live blogs and all the bits and pieces like that as we normally done and everything else. So I'm going to wish you all a very happy 2017. Let's hope it's a really good one. Let's get lots of modeling done and let's have a look back at this year. Welcome to Flory Models, I'm Philip Flory and a happy new year to all of you here we are on Monday the 4th of January 2016. Well, welcome to Flory Models, I'm Philip Flory. This particular build we're going to be tackling is Meng's 135th scale Terminator. Now this is the fire support combat vehicle. Hi, welcome to Flory Models, I'm Philip Flory. This particular build we're going to be doing is Trumpeter's new 148 scale MiG-21 MF. Hello, welcome to Flory Models, I'm Philip Flory. This particular build we're going to be doing something completely different. We're going to be actually doing Revels at 144 scale Boeing 787 Dreamliner with a few upgrades as you can see down here. Hi, welcome to Flory Models. This particular build we're going to be tackling is Revels' new-ish tool, uh, 170 second scale uh, Hadley Coach Halifax V. Hi, welcome to Flory Models. This particular build is going to be our summer super build for 2016. What we usually do is do one big build every single year we throw the works at it. Plenty of scratch building, plenty of aftermarket, and really we want to tell on this. Hello, welcome to Flory Models. I'm Philip Flory. This particular build we're going to be doing is the Chieftain Mark 10. Now this is 135 scale by Tatum. Hello, welcome to Flory Models. I'm Philip Flory. Today we're going to be building Hasegawa's 148 scale uh, Mitsubishi F1. Now this is in six quadrant special marking. Hello and welcome to Flory Models and to something completely different. Something we've never done here before on Flory Models. We're going to tackle the gun on kit. Hello, welcome to Flory Models. I'm Philip Flory. Today's kit review is done by our very own armor god, Mr. Stephen Sutcliffe, who is with us here today. Big round of applause for Steve for doing this. We are filming this in front of a live studio audience. Hello, welcome to Flory Models. Now this is a special, it's a one day build. I'm trying a new format.
it's in, probably around about 20% thinners. Okay, bang up. Now I don't know how well you can see this, but we've got this sort of chipping at the top here. Now because you've got a hard lacquer coat down on this, or like your flat coat, it's basically going to stick to it, the wash, and peel away. So what you do, you take some wash, okay, so if we do it just down the front here, Okay, brush it over, okay. let it sit just a bit. Now, because it's an acrylic, what's going to happen is it's going to slightly soften the acrylic and then peel it away. All right, so what we've got here is quite a stiff thing and the bits and everything that's going down here and all those bits. Yeah, don't forget, this is just one wash, you know, it's just literally the clay wash going on there. A bit of dry brushing, a bit of playing around with it, and you can come in and give it some great weathering effects. Yeah. Hi, welcome to Drawing Models. This particular build is going to be Hattic Hands 1 centimetre second scale, new tool ish. Okay, MV22B. This is a green core version of Spread. Okay, this will do a big stuff. So, quite a bit. You're always slightly pushing inwards as you go around it, and then as you drag it out, not quite slowly. Build. All we've got to do is the navigation lights, uh, the ones with the tail as well, I think they have one on there. So we need a couple of drops of clear red on there and we're ready for the final view. And there we go, we are completely finished, just in time for the deadline. So there we go, just coming up for half past eight on the Friday. And for models, today we're going to be building Rebels Easy Kit 153 scale at our Walker. Looking at this, I was thinking, I'm not too sure about this scale, but actually, I think this is a really good scale. 